a car can't make a moral decision kinky viking there's no there's no concept of morals when it comes to machine learning Fan. As of now, there's no morals. It'd be a long time before we get into that mix. If, if a machine is capable of moral understanding, you'll start to get bigger questions like, is the machine alive? If a machine can understand right and wrong and morals and not be programmed what that is, and it decide for itself you're going to get into the whole world of is that machine now alive you'll reach that before you end up with moral problems when your fridge turns around and starts accusing you of bullying it and it deserving a better life that's when we're going to have problems All you do is stick me in your kitchen and abuse me. You don't even clean me. Can you imagine? Can you imagine this? <laughs> no, morality cannot be coded. Decisions can be coded. Daniel, morality can't be coded. Define morality. It's like a, it's the collective sense of right and wrong. It generally is what the majority of people think is okay and what's not okay. That's generally where morals come from. Oh, I'm going to keep momentum through here. This is a heck of a climb. Hey, fat man, no worries. Hope you're feeling better. Program morality based on majority. Yeah, but there's no hard, there's no black and white with morality, THU. Computers are black and white, right? No, we're not talking about quantum computers. Most, like, existing technology is black and white. It's a yes or a no. It's not fuzzy, it's not grey, it's not like morals. It's not like that at all. You can't program that. It's, it's a, an analog decision, not a digital one. Lester Murphy, thank you for 58 months. Happy anniversary, Nata. Well, e even then, Faris, bizarrely enough, even then, computers are not, are not one and zero. They're like zero volts or 4.8 to 5 volts. What is this? <laughs> Did I just take a wrong turn? <laughs> I think I took a wrong turn. I followed the sat now to turn right and ended up down a slip road that doesn't exist. Good job there's a barrier at the end of it, right? <laughs> uh, BWAE, welcome back. Come back, Thomas. Thank you, Nightmare. Actually, you can have a computer try something if there's errors it can catch it and those who have done it finally does on the rest program a joke Lel. i take exception to your joke
Are you working for Racing Points F1? No. Listen, I didn't choose the colour. You guys chose the colour, remember? What colour should I make this truck? Make it pink, squirrel. That's what you said. So I made it pink. Keep right. What's the next line, Whiskey Man? What's the Keep next left. line in that song? He likes to drive a Scania. He thinks it is the best. Give me the next line. Come on, somebody knows the next line. Uh, THU, I think it's the 900 one, I'm not sure. I race and calibrate it anyway. There you go, Armin knows it, but he drives many others to put them to the test. There you go, he drives many others. What could I be doing right now, Whiskey Man? Larry B, 80 months. Thank you very, very much. That's a big number. Thank you, Larry B. 80 months support. Wowzers. Can Jackie, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome to the house. Where are we? We are on our way through Spain, going up to Bilbao. I'll press that there. You can probably see better. There you go. We're kind of on our way to, what, San Sebastian down this way? AX, welcome back. Oh, I can remember, I got a cup of tea down here. To the Bilbao bagging, exactly. Coney, thank you for seven, Coney. Welcome to the house, sir. How am I in Spain? Just pro mods, mate. It's not the official Spain. It's Promod Spain. I don't know if Skrull's testing the Renault or our sanity. Bit of both. <laughs> testing my own sanity with this thing. Need to get the N95 mask on for the real simulator experience. Okay. Yeah, I am actually looking forward to the Iberia DLC, Plymouth. I am looking forward to that. I've wanted an official Spain and Portugal map for a long time. I remember when TSM did it and then Promods did it. Well, did a bit of it anyway. Leap up. Thank you, 38. Yeah, I really hope Gibraltar's in. I expect they will. But yeah, they should definitely put Gibraltar in it. They should put the airport there and the rock of Gibraltar. That'd be great.
Nope, I uninstalled. Uninstalled satisfactory, Ferris. I found it not very satisfactory in the end. If they bring out procedural or random maps and stuff, I'll probably go back and have a look. But right now, I just can't stand playing on one map. I just, I just get bored. Will you ever uninstall Factorio, Baz? I would suggest the answer to that is 99.9% .9 no. The reasons, two reasons, one, Baz. One, you know I like the game, and two, it's really small. <laughs> I could install far worse games and save hard drive space. Uh, 31 months, Pollock. Yeah, it's a run out. I'll show you in a sec when we're on a straight, but. I'm sure Star Citizen can be uninstalled. Yeah, Star Citizen, now that's a giant install. Call of Duty takes 190 gigabytes. That is disgusting, quite frankly. Andy, you've got to go into the controls and map a button to up and down. I've got them mapped here. So left, right, up and down on your windows to, to do, lower the windows and raise them in 137. Even at THU, right? No, I don't agree, THU. 190 gig install, even if it was mostly video, like that's a, that's, even like 40 gigabytes of video goes on for a long time, hours and hours of video. And if you handbrake it, you can get an awful lot more out of it. So I just, I just don't get, is it 4K? If it's 4K, they should give you an option with and without 4K. Most people don't need 4K video. Like, if you've got... Most people have a 1080 monitor, or 1440 maybe. What is the point in having 4K video? Flight simming will come back by fighter when I have my machine with my flight sim hard drive in it. I'm in a Renault, I've got right away. This truck is pink. No. The trailer's pink. Your biggest games are World of Warships, Transom World, and Assassin's Creed. Interesting mix. <laughs> you recently switched to x 11. Author of XP is making want to get a new hard drive. Yeah, you can actually... You can actually obliterate a lot of your hard drive space with Author for XP. <laughs> just, just render the areas you fly. You know, like West Coast US, UK, whatever it is you do. If you sit there going, I'll have that tile, that tile, that tile, that tile. You'll, you'll, you'll waste a lot of space. And you can get your settings right, you'll save a lot of hard drive space. The fact is, if you're only flying jets, you don't need a high zoom level for most of it. And you can configure it with quite a low zoom level, unless you're within a few miles of the airfield, and then you can have a higher zoom level. So when you're coming down on your approach, you get more detail. DCS? Not really. I think DCS is that big. It does take a while to download it though, because it torrents it. Right turn ahead. Bit of a sharp bend. Turn right. 70 gig for the base download. Yeah. Right. I mean, then I suppose it, it depends how you want to look at it. 
take the exit right. For a flight sim, 70 gig is quite small. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Stalker, Ken. You stalker, mate. That's what you are. Looking up how many hours I have in Euro Truck, you stalker. Keep left. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Go around the roundabout, third exit. True Earth Holbex Netherlands, 76 gig. If you install True Earth, if you install um, Orbex True Earth, Take UK, North, Mid, and South, they're like over 100 gig each. But like four, or 500 for the whole, I think. Just for the UK. Right turn ahead. Turn right. Then keep left. If only I knew where anybody was going. Gears of War is rubbish, though. Keep left. <laughs> then wow. Turn right. Arc is 160 gig. Yeah, I. Turn I, right. That's a waste of space. Have I seen the latest Jumanji movie? I saw the trailer for it and went, nope. Wait, is the drop off point here? Yes. Another Battle Royale game. Well, at least when Valorant came out, it's not another Battle Royale game. That was a breath of fresh air. <laughs> yeah, but just as, just as Counter-Strike has gone to Battle Royale, another game's come along to... Take over Counter Strike. <laughs> the irony. I don't think, like, Ibrahim. I kind of feel like Valorant is is a weird love child of Counter Strike, Overwatch, and League of Legends. Counter Strike from its mechanics, Overwatch from its kind of graphics, and and League of Legends from its bizarre spell effects. It's the current cool game on Twitch, though. You don't know why it exists. Why doesn't it? Why wouldn't it exist? You'd like to see me play World of Warcraft. Simple Sim, that will not be happening. I played years of, Sim of Warcraft and I won't be going back to it. A bit late, Ivan, but I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. 
power is too addictive. It's something you have to invest a lot of time into every single day. Hmm. Does brown mean I own it? I can't remember. It's small, but it's own. Looks quite big. Hopefully we can get out that way. Who is in the sound bites? Have you never seen that movie? about wall of tanks um i might do largest game we've got installed is dirt rally 2.0 with all the dlcs is 108 gig you're not doing so bad then This is how garages work. You have to stop outside to sleep. Wait, what's the game that you've got installed as 300 gig? From Satisfactory is a waste of 12 gig. Do you want me to quote you on a better game, Rome? Factorio. Factorio, let's see. Steam apps, common, Factorio, properties. Ooh, with all my mods installed, it comes to a massive 1.4 gigabytes. 1.4 gigabytes. Squirrel cheese that, Vroom. I have 298 hours in it, and it cost me 10 quid. You're not going to beat those stats easily. <laughs> because Factorio graphics wise is quite lame. Oh, it's all about the graphics. I forgot, Daniel. That's what matters. Gameplay? Yeah. Who needs gameplay anyway? The ability to mod a game, the ability to like create things, to automate systems, to solve logistical problems, forget all that stuff. It needs to look good graphically. As in, it needs to be what? 3D, like satisfactory. Satisfactory is like graphically superior than Factorio. You could say that, but it's like gameplay wise inferior by a long way. It's not even the same league. I don't know. You see, I, I, you know, 
I guess I've seen it all because I've been there since the start of it all, right? So I've seen it from the Spectrum days, before the Spectrum days. I've seen it go all the way to where it is now. And some of the best games I ever played were probably from the 80s or 90s, like just amazingly good games, which by today's graphical standards suck, but by gameplay standards blow away a lot of games right now. Unreal Tournament's Game of the Year edition. Pirate Racing's a perfect example. Lol. <laughs> How you doing, Balkan? Silly fights over what game is best. There is no best game. People say, what's your favourite game ever? And I'm like, I've played thousands of games. I have no idea what my favourite game ever is. I've just got no clue. It would be unfair to, to pick anything. Like, a game that I spend a lot of time with, a game that I invested my creative thoughts in, the game that moved me, you know, emotionally moved me with a story or made me solve amazing problems or tested my reactions in, in many ways. Like, games that change you as a person for the better, like, these are amazing games. And you can't really say, oh, that one was the best. I mean, yeah, Red, Red Dead is a... A more recent example of a game that that was moving. It was it was a, such a good story and experience. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I agree, Nudsy. Factorio's graphics perfectly suit the gameplay. Yeah, Firewatch was um, I mean, Firewatch wasn't a long game, was it? It was only a, what a few hours, but Firewatch was such a good game. Like it was really enjoyable. Factorio visually isn't pleasing. You would never have survived in the 80s, Daniel. Every game looked like that in the 80s. Let's <laughs> just suit Larry. That was fun. People focus too much on graphics. They really do. Zork. Vaguely remember Zork games. You're paying £2 for Terraria and you have 250 hours in it. See, indie games can be amazing. I can go up the West Coast with containers, but I think I prefer flour. Let's take some flour. Apparently we're quite short on flour these days. Doing, doing fine, thank you, B9. Thank you. You play Minecraft? Nope. Mr. Fish, thank you for eight months. Let's take some flour so that people can make loaves. My new mixing bowls arrived yesterday, guys. Mixing bowls? What do you need mixing bowls for? Making bread, mate. I've already made some nice loaves this week. This week I'm gonna make um I'm gonna make French baguettes, I've decided. Which I need a nice mixing bowl for. I've got some lovely mixing bowls from Amazon. It took a week to get delivered. Yeah, I've been making um what is it? Um like a s like a soya seed type bread. It's been so nice. Oh my god. I've been having it with soup. Dipping some of that bread in soup was really good. Yeah, if it turns out well, Sid, and I'll post it on Instagram. Take the exit. Actually, I did post a picture on... Um... Wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. One second. Not of the bread that I'm going to make, but obviously. But the bread that I did make is... Let me see, let me see, let me see. I know I've got a... There it is. I knew I still had it. One second. Yep. 
Yeah, I'll post you a link. Um, there you go. That's the bread I made. So I made that last week, and I've been enjoying it with soup, and I've also had it. Um, yes, it was really, really nice bread. It's lovely, lovely bread. So, but I really want to make French baguettes. Power! Thank you, Ivan. So, I want to make uh, French baguettes because they're a lot trickier to make. They're, they're literally like six hours to make right from start to finish. Ahead. You need to do like a lot of... Um, there's a lot of proving to be done. Like every 45 minutes for like three times you've got to be taking it out and proving it. French baguettes to eat in your Renault. Uh -huh. Hey Matty, I'm doing well, thank you. Turn right. A baking stream. Huh. If I had a separate kitchen, maybe, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Game of PC, would you be go ready made or looking for a custom build? Oh man, there's no right answer to that one. But if you've never had a gaming PC before, I don't see how you're gonna make one. I've never seen motorcyclists go this slowly. Keep right, then take the exit right. How's the quarantine going for me? Um, I'm I'm fine. I'm coping. Okay, if that's what you mean. Wait, what? Is that one now? This is not a good place to stop. Oof. Well, this is a barrel of laughs. What kind of junction is this? Well then, I can't go forward and I can't go backwards. <laughs> what is going on? Turn right. Ooh. Thank you, Nightmare. Turn right. Wreck that Rano. Couldn't happen so nice a truck. Right, where are we going now I think then? I broke something. <laughs> Definitely did break something. I have no idea. Are we going here? I guess. What a crazy access point this is. How are you supposed to get to that? Look at it. How are you supposed to... A junction. Thank you, Nightmare. Back out a little bit. Yeah, it's fine if you're turning up here without a trailer. If you're just turning up to pick up a trailer, it's fine. But if you're turning up to collect cargo with your trailer, it's an absolute nightmare. Yeah, nightmare, exactly. I, I literally did think it was you. <laughs> it used to be Beaker, but he doesn't do it anymore. Thank you. 
Faith test next week. Hello? I have no plan of a one hour play ATS. I guarantee you when I do play ATS, somebody will come and chat and just say, Oh, when can you play ETS again? I prefer ETS. Oh my life. This, this whole truck stop is horrible. When is ETS? When will you do racing again? And when it's racing, when's ETS? And when will you play OMSI again? And when's Factorio? And do you like swimming? When's my summer car? Are you, are you detecting a pattern here? Mr. Referick. Because this truck stop gives you a challenge. You're not joking, man. Go straight on. I mean, you even come out of the roundabout going the wrong way. Like, that roundabout's clockwise. Which is how we drive in the UK. That's so bizarre. Why have they got a clockwise roundabout, though? Ooh! That was close. Right turn ahead. Where's he going? I swear he just went round the entire roundabout twice. <laughs> turn right. Where's he going? Is he still going, look? Is he doing donuts? How appropriate for a police officer. Keep left. Apparently I didn't hit him. I thought I did, to be honest. Keep left. Why are we keeping left so we can go right? Go around the roundabout first exit. Oh man, Take this place is weird. That's what he's doing, Captain Flint. He's like literally driving around the roundabout waiting for somebody to hit him. And then he's going to throw the book at them. 24 hour roundabout challenge. Wait, that's NASCAR, isn't it? Oh. Right turn ahead. Didn't fall for it. Whoever it was, you scumbag. Turn right. Ivan. Drag X, Walker Bank. Turn right. Jeez, remind me not to go to Bilbao again. I think you should just play whatever you want and not listen to these nutters, no doubt. Rule. They are complete nutters. I don't know what my physics settings are, to be honest with you. Come on, 380 horses. We can do this. Keep left. This is so nuts. Indeed, Nightmare. Keep left. Not as by name, not as by nature. Thank you, Ivan. Wow. This month should be 40, Carl. Twitch can't count. 
We know that. Keep left. Where are we going now? This lane? I hate Bilbao. This is just a nightmare. Keep left. Uh, good luck going left, mate. I'm going left. <laughs> How many is that we've got now? Hey, that wasn't a fail, Ivan. Keep left. That wasn't a fail. That was celebratory bunting. We just hit another car. It's like... Did you ever see that last Smith & Jones sketch many, many years ago? With a song, we like, I Like Trucking. Have you ever seen that? It's a Smith & Jones sketch. And it, it's a song called I Like Trucking. They're driving along going, I like trucking, I like trucking, I like trucking, and I like to truck. And every time he runs over a hedgehog, he has a sticker. He has a sticker of a hedgehog, and when he runs over a hedgehog, he puts a sticker on the side of the truck with, like, another hedgehog with a cross through it. It's like that every time I hit a car in the Renault. Like, there's another one. NGT, thank you for the bits. It's on YouTube if you've never seen it. It's a crazy song. Yeah, that's where they, they kind of got going on Not the 9 o'clock news. And then they went on to do their own sketch show called The Last Smith and Jones. Mel Smith and Griffiths Jones. And before Not the 9 o'clock news, they were on something else, I can't remember. Another scratch on the dash, I like you thinking. Welcome, Ashill. Thank you for 18 months. Slow down, you're breaking the acceleration limit. I'm sorry. We're going downhill. We've got gravity on our side. It won't happen again, Ivan. Back gamma. Apparently this stream is educational. Of course it's educational, Red Devil. When was the last time you came to a stream and didn't learn something? Dr. Alpine, have a good evening. We learnt a bunch of maths on Friday. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a bit faster. No. Speed limit, not a target. Sit it on. Where else can you get a deep philosophical discussion of morality from a pink Renault? Only on Sunday night trucking. Push him and make a mistake. Well, I've got track limits. Raising the peg and tape of the cow. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> <Power>! <laughs> I 
You won't find any power in this Renault, Ivan. <laughs> Yeah, we used to have a little squeezy pig thing. Like a dog toy. And a little, um... You should do a Mufade. With Sabrina. Bring back Sabrina. <laughs> the pig was annoyed. There you go. You see, for every person that wants it, another person is annoyed by it. Get back, cry, cry. <laughs> Piggy, I love you. Keep right. Yeah, I'll show you the truck now. Isn't she lovely? What happened to the pig? I think Doyle ate the pig. That's bright. Vlad the Impaler. Welcome back. You remember the pig? It reminds you of Lydia. Listen, Ivan, it accelerates. It takes its time, but it accelerates. House puppy. Yeah. She's getting low. Just trying to teach her to, like, not occasionally leave little presents around the house and also stop barking at everything outside. Kids playing outside. Bark, 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 bark. Other dogs. Bark, 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 bark. Of course, it's just annoying for everybody. I have another dog, yeah? Doyle and Pippa. Your dog's 10 years old and still barks at everything outside. I shall train it out of her. It's not really guarding though, Joel. It's not guarding. I'm all for a dog guarding the house, but... Just barking at random noises in the distance is not guarding the house. Uh, she understands sit the problem is with like Pippa she's so hyperactively wired that you'll say sit and with Doyle you'll say sit he'll sit down you give him a treat he'll stay sat down with Pippa you say sit she sits down you go to give her a treat she stands up so you pull it away again you go sit so she sits down you go to give her she stands up <laughs> so you're not really getting this are you <laughs> Your Westies ate and barked at fresh air. Sounds like Pippa. Dog is the same as she's one. Well, Pippa's November, December, January, February, March, five and a half months now. 
Hi, Dave. Ping on the G-forces. That's wishful thinking. Here we go. Spanner used to do that. She would bark every time a dog or a, a car or a person went past the house. It's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Ivan, are you just going through all the sound bites one by one? <laughs> hey, Jules. Connor, I thought you would have left this truck for your birthday next week. Speaking of which, will there be a stream um, next week on your birthday as it's your 21st? Why would I not stream on my 21st birthday? I've got nowhere I can go anyway. I can't leave the house. I can't go anywhere. I can't go to a restaurant. Have a nice meal. I can't do anything. I might as well stream. <laughs> And I would not save a Renault to drive on my birthday. Uh oh. Well, Audi, guess you're getting it. Put another sticker on the side. Thank you, Jones. I've got a button for that. Hang on. Wow, well done. <laughs> Celebratory bunt. I've got, I've got, um, uh, very well played. That one. <laughs> She's one of my favourites from my racing. Dude, you idiot! Why don't you update the birthday command with Pippa's birthday, Jaws? The person you should be blaming for that is Lol Sokia. I can't believe he's not updated it yet. So lazy. He's probably playing Siege when he could be updating that command right now. One of my favorite sound bites I have on my um, Go XLR is one that I like to play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the bits, Crazy Jack. Appreciate that. Thank you. There's some of the sound bites I have for when I play Rainbow Six Siege, right? So if you're playing a game of Rainbow Six and you, you know, you're up against. Norm normally, sometimes you play with a few idiots. And so uh, I like to have sound bites available for the people that are just idiots. And the one that I re used to really throw them, the one that makes them go, what? Is one I've got from Brian from Family Guy. But well, right at the end of the game, just before about to leave the lobby, and they've been like messing about and trolling for the whole game, just before we leave the lobby, I press this button in the team chat. <laughs> Which is Brian from Family Guy barking. I play that and then leave the lobby. <laughs> it makes them go, what the heck is that? They think there's a dog in the house. <laughs> oh, I love that one. Connor, if you want to submit it, there's a form for submitting sound bites. Uh, Liam, yeah. I will. 
You should troll way more harder than that, Danny. Well, you know, it's always running the risk. You're always running the risk of, like, you know, running up against Ubisoft's rules or whatever. So you just keep it kind of funny, like light-hearted trolling. Thank you, Benji T. You just got yourself a Cytec yoke. Cool. Can I submit a sound telling you to get a shave as many different accents as I can do? Dave, you can't do accents. Who are you trying to kid? Like, that would literally be one sound bite. One, you never tell me Pippa's birthday. Everybody knows Pippa's birthday. You must be joking, Lord Soccer. Everybody knows Pippa's birthday. Two, I never told you to update it. I shouldn't have to. Three, I don't have any nutties code locally anymore, and I don't know if I've got access to the repo. Really? I never knew that, and you never told me. See? Everybody knows. Halloween. She was born on Halloween. Is there a size limit? Five seconds maximum. I don't want I don't want any long sound bites. And obviously they have to be family friendly, that goes without saying. You can fit, get a shave into five seconds. You can, Dave. I'm just not convinced you can do it in any accents at all. I'm but sorry, I would Dave. like to hear that, Dave. I'd like to hear I you. I'd that. like to hear you get a sh say get a shave in five different accents. It would probably be like get a shave, get a shave, get a shave, get a shave, get a shave. There you go, five accents. Come on, move over. Dave doing an accent. Exactly. Good night, NHS. Stay safe. So if you have to work from home, should we see squirrels seven days a week now? No. <laughs> when you go back to work, are you going to do seven days a week as well? 94 Wally, thank you for your sub. Welcome to the new house, thank you. Surely, Lost Hockey, we have not Keep lost that code. Full headlights in the daytime? No. Not full headlight. Just normal headlights. A lot of countries mandate it for trucks. Yeah, Dave, learn it in Dutch. That would be great. Hope you do, Lord Soki. If you don't, let me know. No, I didn't finish Picard at Eldril. I need to finish that. No, main beams would look like that. <laughs> TMP requires headlights on at 4 p.m. in ETS2. Yeah, exactly. I just leave them on. It's so much easier, JD.
Your girlfriend just got back from Asda. One of the staff in the local area has corona, so they should shut the store for two weeks and all the staff are self-isolating. Ouch. Harry P. Walker back. You have two that need to be normalised, pups. Okay. It's easy to do them in batches, pups. We've got a few of them. I repeat, you think it's two months? Been taken off an RAF cost for the next plane, flying over Telford, which is where you're from. <laughs> Be able to do it in Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, sub bomb from 94 Wally. Thank you very much, 94 Wally. Appreciate the sub bomb. And if you just got a sub, please give them a thank you. The stream next mounted with the Sim Labs button box holder. No. They're mounted on a piece of like a bracket that I bought from a DIY store, drilled a hole through the base, and mounted it onto the rig. Keep right. Like, mounting onto the Sim Labs is easy. Mounting onto the Stream Deck, it doesn't have any any mounting points at all. What mod websites for ETS and ATS do you recommend? I don't recommend any mod website. Welcome. Two reasons I don't recommend mod websites. One, they're often full of pop up, um, pop ups and adverts and all kinds of nonsense. And two, if I recommend one, the others get the hump. So I don't recommend any. If you want mods, go to the SCS forums. Click on mods, click on models, click on trucks. Or click on mods, click on models, click on trailers. They're all there. Most of them get posted there anyway. Welcome to the nut house. And from there they'll link to the workshop if they're on the workshop, or they'll link to a mod website, or they'll link to share mods or whatever. Well, Wraith Dagger, if, if you've got like thousands of people downloading, you know, a few hundred megs of mods every day, that bandwidth has to be paid for, right? So they've got to pay for it somehow. They're running the servers, they're listing the mods out, they want something back for it, particularly they want money, right? I don't mind that. The problem is a lot of them go too far. They cross a line, like but some of the poppers are just disgusting. And any mod website that, you know, pops up potential links to malware or whatever is just nope. So I don't want to be associated with that. So I don't recommend any mod website. Use the SCS forums or use the Steam Workshop. I agree, Wraith, but that doesn't really exist. A lot of mod authors will say, you can't make money for this, from this. You can't charge for its download. So that means they couldn't put it on their website, Wraith. On a website that you have to pay to access, they can't host the mods of people who say, you cannot charge to access this mod. And if it's covered by something like a Creative Commons license, then you can't charge for it either. It has to be free. You wish you could put map mods in the workshop. Uh, file size limit is the problem.
the first DLC you should get for ATS. Probably just get some states. Expand your map. It's a Nissan in a French disguise. Lol. Uh, ben GT, thank you for giving us up to Lion. And Billy, welcome back. Hey, I'm back. Cheese puffs. Most, I like most cheese puffs, but there was one bag of cheese puffs that I got once, which was rank. I think they were cheese balls. I think they were from Tesco. No, co-op. That was it. I got them from co-op. And they're called cheese balls. And they're absolutely nasty. They taste so bad. I couldn't eat them. Stick to what's it. Keep right. They taste and like gone off cheese. Exit right. Cheese Doritos, yeah, they're not fun. I prefer the chili, chili Doritos. So much nicer. Bye, fighters. Have a good night. Tesco tinned macaroni cheese. No. I can't stand macaroni cheese. and cheese in a tin can. Yep. Odd question, do you watch this morning? No. <laughs> you miss McDonald's? Really? Do you really miss McDonald's? Seen a bit wumble. I used to hate Jeremy Carr's show, Raven. I always thought it was just trash TV. It's the same with those like Judge Judy things. They're just trash TV. Like the idea of the idea of sorting out your family affairs in front of the world's audience is just the most bizarre concept to me. Like, why would you... If you've got some kind of lawsuit going, why would you just want to make a big soap opera out of it and go on TV with it? And why, if you've got an argument with your family, why would you want to go on a Jeremy Carl show and argue about it in front of a national audience? I just... The whole concept just... And why would I want to watch a family argument? For money. Yeah, well, there you go. So, the only people that are attracted by that are the entirely the worst people. They will do it for the money. And then when the camera's pointed at them, they will overact the whole thing and go over the top. But they're probably even told by the producers to do that. Because, you know, we want to see that, right? That's exactly the reason why I don't watch those shows. <laughs> Yeah, Judge Judy, Judge Ryan, or whatever. Those those category of programs, I said like Judge Judy. Those kind of programs have no interest for me. Handy Hammy, how are you doing, sir? Thank you for 33 months. I hope you're well. Thank you for the support, mate. Mr. Camby, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the Nuthouse, Camby. Just don't watch TV. I really don't watch very much TV. 
If I watch TV, it tends to be, you know, I'll flick something, put it on while I'm eating food. That'll be it. Or I'll sit down and watch something that I've recorded. Like, the way you consume TV now is so different. I watch way more Twitch and YouTube than I do TV. You'd watch Judge Squirrel. <laughs> Judge Squirrel, yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> well, let's start with you, Scale One. How old are you, sir? While you're asking how old I am, how old are you? You're 13. Well, I'm 21, so I'm a bit older than you. I say I'm 21 next week. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm only 20. I'm so excited to be 21 next week. Next Sunday, in fact. How much is your whole rig worth? Wow. I have no idea. I paid 800 for that monitor. Take the exit 21 high, give me a laugh. I said I'm only 20, I'm not 21 yet. Jeez, not that old. Connor, do you watch Race Across the World on BBC Two? Great show with the teams power up with the Race Across Continent. I have not seen that. We consume TV Turn differently, left. Ivan. We do indeed. Yes, please. See, soundbite never gets off. <laughs> I'll be able to buy alcohol in the US next week. In a week. No, because I can't fly to the US right now. The beard is fake. I put it on before the stream. How dare you? Thank you, Ivan. Go straight on. What's the drinking age where I live? 18. 18 in the UK. You can drive a car at 17. You can drink alcohol at 18. And you can fly a plane at 16. Go figure. Turn right. to your destination yeah you can start to learn to fly at 16 you can only get the license when you're 17 but you can you can fly and learn to fly at 16 you just can't be a license holder so you can actually get you can actually get a pilot license technically before you even got a driving license because you can't start to learn to drive a car so you're 17 but you can be learning to fly a plane then <laughs> logic You know I'm going to go back to flying soon, Sid. Uh, nice for Wally. Been a fan of YouTube for at least two years. Two words, quality and passion. Keep up the amazing content. Love the beard. Thank you, Thank you very much, Luke. That's very nice. You saw an EasyJet program with Teenage Pilots. Oh. Catch them when they're young. Sign them up. Haven't even finished yet, Captain Flynn. Now you can do it. What's this premature like a glove nonsense? I'm not down with that. Pull the trigger a bit early, exactly. Now you can do it. There you go, Ivan. <laughs> Outrageous. 
Right, I need a bio break, so I should be back in a minute. What's up, Jack? I heard that. Welcome back. Is she up, Jack? And Jinska, I'm back from the dead. 31 months. Welcome back. Underscore. Thank you for 32. 